Hello, hello, hello. We are back again here. And I am Auntie Ruth. And you are welcome back to Victory Land Virtual Class. We have OAP. And I hope you are prepared for today's lesson, right? We have OAP. Our world and our people. Our world and our people. Your world and your people. My world and my people. So, let's look at what we have for today's lesson. In our previous slide, we learned about what? The attributes of God. And I hope you remembered what we learned then. We said what? God is caring, God is loving, God is merciful. Good. So let's look at today's lesson. Our strength is all about us. All about us. And our soft strand is. And our soft strand today is what? My family and the community. Our soft strand is what? The family and the community. There is an image on the screen here. Can you identify some things? Yes. You can see a family seated on a table eating. I hope you guys that with your family as well. Good. So this is what you are coming to talk about. Your family or my family and the community. What we do in the community and within our family. I hope you are ready to do this. Do you have a sibling? Do you have a father? Do you have a mother? Do you have a grandparent? Uncles, aunties, yes. So keep quiet and pay very well attention. Okay, good. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, so what is a family? We said we are coming to learn about what? A family and a community. So what then is family? Do you have anything in mind? What is a family? Hmm. You have a family, right? So think about it. Somebody is saying that a family is what? You have a sister, you have a brother, so it's a family. Bring more ideas. All right, so let's see. All right, good. So let's look at this picture in our new slide. Can you identify some things here? Yes, this is mama, papa, and two siblings. So this is a family, okay? All right, so let's look at the definition for family. So a family is a group of people closely related by birth or marriage. You get that? You see how they are smiling. I want you to smile like that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, good. So a family is a group of people closely related by birth or marriage. So these are two parents, a mother and a father. They are married, right? And they've given birth to children. So this is a family. So can we all say it? A family, all of you. It's a group of people. A family is a group of people closely related by birth or marriage. Again, a family is a group of people Closely related by birth or marriage. Good. So, let's look at some types of families. You said family. So, 
we have some types of family and this is it one we have a nuclear family and two the extended family we have what nuclear so these are the types we have two types the nuclear family and the extended family but this lesson we will be looking at the one in the red color that is the nuclear family we'll be looking at number one that is the nuclear family so we have two types of what family and they are what nuclear family and the extended family so which of the family are you into let's go to our next slide so do you have anything in mind about a nuclear family okay in our previous slide we saw daddy mother and two siblings all right so let's look at it the nuclear family is made up of parents and children okay the nuclear family is made up of what parents and children i know you have grandfather grandmother uncles aunties yes but today we are talking about nuclear family so the nuclear family is what is made up of mother father and siblings that is the children okay good so in your family how many are you your mother uh-huh your father is then your siblings how many siblings do you have is it two is it three yes so your family is a nuclear family assign your grandparents so we'll come back to those ones the grandparents uncles yes so you'll be thinking about it if nuclear family is consisting of parents and children then what about the extended family i'm just giving you a little bit of it before we go there okay so the nuclear family is made up of what parents and clap for yourself children it is very well the nuclear family is made up of mother father brothers and sisters as we say that is made up of parents and children so this is the parents are what the mother and the father and the siblings will be brothers and sisters i hope you understood everything right okay so let's look at some rules some rules of what the kids or the children the mothers and then the father in a family good so let's look at the meaning of a role first before we continue okay so a role is a part played by a person or thing in a particular situation to play a role is a part played by a person or a thing in a particular situation okay good so what is your role in your house as a child what do you do you go on errands for mommy right so this is your role this is what you are talking about okay in your school you have what yes office girls that is their role what is their role they clean the office yes so that is their role as office girls okay good so let's look about responsibility responsibility is the act of taking decisions independently the act of taking decisions independently and we are going to use these things in our next slide so pay attention carefully we said a role is part played in a person or thing in a particular situation the part played by a person or thing in a particular situation a responsibility is what the act of taking decisions independently so responsibility and role are almost the same okay good 
So now let's look at the role of the father in the nuclear family. The role of your father and his daddy in the nuclear family. So let's mention some of the things. What are some of the things that daddy does in the family? Yes. Okay, number one. The father provides food and shelter for the family. The father provides food and shelter for the family. Number two. The father pays school fees. Yes, our school fees. Daddy pays them for us. So the father provides food and shelter for the family. The father pays what? School fees. And the third one, the father is responsibility. The responsibility of the father is to do what? To pay all utility bills. So the father is responsible for all utility bills. The father is responsible for all utility bills. All right, good. So let's look at the role of a mother in the nuclear family. Let's now look at the role of the mother in the nuclear family. Today we learned about what family, and we said family consists of how many people? Mother, father, brothers and sisters, that is parents and children. Okay? Good. And so there are two types of families. We have the nuclear family and the extended family. We have the nuclear family and the extended family. But today we are only looking at the nuclear family. Okay? Good. So let's now look at the role of a mother in the nuclear family. One, the mother helps the husband to promote spiritual and moral growth in the family. The mother helps the, the husband to promote or daddy to promote spiritual and moral growth in the family. Sometimes mommy takes us to church to pray. When it's time for us to sleep in the evening, we all pray with mommy. Mommy guides us to pray our father, then we sleep. Okay, good. Number two. The mother guides and trains the children to be good people. Yes, our well-being. Mommy teaches us everything and guides us on what to do. Three, the mother provides emotional support to members of the family. The mother provides emotional support to members of the family. This is what mommy does to the family. Sometimes when you are sick or you are crying, I'm going to pamper you and you'll be fine. Right? Yes. Four. The mother cooks for the family. Mommy, I'm hungry. And mommy will go to the kitchen to prepare your food. Wow. Such a good parent we have. The mother cooks for the family. Then five. The mother makes sure that the children are well dressed. And will give mommy money to buy our dress, our Christmas shoe, our Christmas dress, our outfits that we are wearing. Mommy makes sure that what we are well, well, well dressed. Good. And then number six, the mother teaches the children how to talk to what the elderly. When you see an elderly, what do you do? You bow and greet. Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening with your hands at your back. So the mother teaches us all these things, okay? Good. I hope that lesson was so interesting. Smile, let me see you smiling. Good. So this is where we'll be ending today, okay? So let's go and have some assessment. But before that, let's say the role of children. Now, we, we, we know the role of a mother, the role of the father. What about we, the children? Let's say this. Okay. So, one, the child runs errands for their parents and other members of the family. As I told you earlier, as a kid, what, we are, what are you supposed to do? You go on errands to buy things, a whole lot, and it's good for you to do that, okay? 
Okay, I hope you have been going on errands for the family. For mommy and daddy. Good. All right, number two. The children perform household chores such as sweeping, washing dishes, and others. The children perform household chores like what? Sweeping, washing dishes, and others. We sweep after eat, uh, when it's morning, then after eating, we do dishes, and we wash our clothes as well. All right, number three. The other children help their parents to take care of the younger ones. Yes. The older children do what? Helps their parents to take care of their younger ones. Yeah, baby. Your older sibling will take care of you. Okay? That is it. So if you're in the house and it's your sibling or your sister that is older than you, make sure you respect her so much because she has been doing a whole lot of duties. All right, number four. The children obey and respect other members of the family. Yes, as we de said that the parent, that is the mother, the role of the mother, one is that she teaches children how to obey and respect the elderly. Yes, so that is what we are supposed to do, to respect the elderly. Okay? Good. So let's go and take 